If you're eating from these fruits, be thankful. Show your courtesy, show your thankfulness, show your respect and admiration for the fruit that you eat, it comes with a price. Um, but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, that Allah's rahmah and mercy to dress us, bless us and our families and communities. And always a reminder for myself, for asking to be thrown into the oceans of kawthar, in the world of light where there is no form and that Allah dress us from this immense abundance and immense blessings. Because of the immensity of its blessings, the tariqah has a mannerism and those mannerisms are what define us and what allows us the movement within the reality and to stay within that reality. It's not what people learn from other schools or esoteric teachings of other places or religious dogma that people think, oh I've been to a masjid all the time so I therefore know how to conduct myself but tariqah completely something different. The, the human nature that people are brought up with now is a very demanding character, a character based and influenced off of social structure, social business structure, uh, academia, the desire to achieve, the desire to, to elevate oneself, promote oneself. And shaitan intentionally teaches and conditions from childhood to adulthood people in this understanding, making it thousand times more difficult to understand and to survive within tariqah. That's the dilemma that everyone's facing. This is the dilemma that, that we are continuously having to reconstruct ourselves to understand that this physical world teaches you to be important, the physical world teaches you to be outspoken, the physical world teaches you to elevate yourself, promote yourself, identify yourself, struggle to get ahead. And all of that, no problem for your dunya. But the reality of spirituality is you every night have to deconstruct yourself. That's why it becomes so much more difficult that whatever I think I'm doing for my work and dunya because these are the standards of dunya. So you're wearing multiple hats in life, you wear your dunya hat and you do what dunya is requiring you to achieve because yes you, you have to promote yourself if they don't know who you are you'll stay in the mail room. You have to do those things for dunya because that's the condition in which dunya is operating. But you cannot bring that dunya understanding and say that I'll also apply that now for my spiritual path. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Najjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Reality of spirituality is it's a completely different world and it requires a completely different hat. A set. What we mean by hat is a set of an understanding that you put your uniform, you put your kufi, your sunnah clothes, that's a different world. That's a world in which doesn't accept 
self-promotion, doesn't accept identifying, doesn't accept continuous conflict with what's been proportioned for somebody. It's a continuous process of effacement and that's when we gave the talks on manifestation. Those are the same realities if we talk about seeds, that in life it's a, it's a group of seeds and a nice picture would be a whole bunch of seeds and like little mouths on the seeds. And they just keep talking, 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 talking and they think that they have or they are achieving something. And the tariqahs actually come and teach you like a farmer because the shaykh is like a tree coming and teaching the seeds that stop all of that and actually now bury yourself. Means isolate, learn how to stop talking, stop promoting, stop doing all of these things, stop complaining, stop arguing with tariqah issues, I want to serve this, I don't want to serve that, I want to do this, I don't want to do that. All of those, they bury themselves in the soil because people will come with bad character and say, well, why are they promoting you? Well, because the shaykh is not a seed. The shaykh was like that in his training that was not identified, was not known, was not put in pictures, was never anywhere to be known and he took a life in which to isolate. As a result of that, that person then was ordered into the ground, into seclusions. As a result of being buried within the ground and isolating, the seed had an opportunity to become a tree. Means it comes into what Allah has intended for that individual and Allah never intended for any individual to remain as a seed. This is how Allah is just. Right? So then what he, what is he destined for everyone in creation? Burial, death. Because people will say, well, oh God, oh God didn't make everybody to be a shaykh. No, he did because everyone will taste of death. And that's when every seed, regardless how much they ran on this earth away from this reality, no matter how much they, they put a crown on themselves, they, they do whatever kind of rubbish they adorn themselves with. In the end Allah opens the earth and throws all the seeds inside. And that becomes the great equalizer that everyone will taste of death. Everyone, every seed will be thrown into the dirt. And those that achieve their reality, glad tidings for them. Means that those whom in their physical life actually understood their path, understood their reality and they jumped into the ground. They took a life to isolate. I'm going to isolate. I'm going to be a path not known, a person not known. I have to be known by Allah and Prophet I have to make my connection with the shaykh spiritually. I should not put my desire, my want and my will in anything because when the person is buried you have to copy yourself. Mawlana Shaykh would describe that you must imitate a dead body. And then you know you're doing everything right because that becomes our role model. This is nothing about inflicting self-harm for anybody who I like the term when I say people are crazy because their understanding is so off. This is not inflicting self-harm, these are all spiritual understandings. So when we mimic the dead, then you look to yourself and say, well the, the, this dead guy, he doesn't complain, he doesn't talk, he doesn't say anything and he's just sitting there. And then we know our character is closer to reaching our reality in which we can't complain, we sit and tolerate, we take whatever position is, is been given within the tariqah, whatever role and, ob uh, and obligations are done, we do them to the best of our ability, we try to live a life of service, try to get a life of being recognized by our service that I did here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here and they will identify, they will notice people. As a result of that, they mimic the state of death. 
because they're unknown. They're buried and isolated, but they're immensely of service. They have a tremendous himmah. And in our lives there was an immense himmah, doing many, many things for tariqah, but nobody has to know it because it wasn't for anybody. It was not to, to get likes or to be recognized by people, but to get the recognition from Prophet because of the khidmat. And that was a life of that reality. As a result, those seeds became trees and they were nourished, nourished and as a result Allah granted to them, Prophet granted to them and only Allah's madad and support of watering them, they give fruits now. No longer it's a seed, it actually reach its reality and it's a tree deeply rooted that many may come to take that tree down and it's held by Allah's strength. Only Allah can make it to go down but it has fruits. So the images are little seeds everywhere or big seeds like avocado seeds with mouths on them thinking they achieve something. Some seeds also have crowns on them and all sorts of identifying things but they're all seeds, they achieve nothing. And then the tree is the symbol of the shaykh that it was a seed once but it became the reality Allah wanted for it. This is the same wave and particle, they broke down their particle. As a result their wave reality means they reached what Allah wanted for them. I wanted for all my creation to be trees that bear fruits and as a result of your bearing fruits your juzbah brings many people many people from all over the world to eat from your fruits. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand-blended teas. Enjoy God-given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. If you're eating from these fruits, be thankful, show your courtesy, show your thankfulness, show your respect and admiration for the fruit that you eat, it comes with a price. That's why, that's why they keep trying to teach these manners that you can't just keep coming and eating something, taking from some reality and just hitting and going your way. You're accountable for that type of character and Allah will teach you when you enter into the grave that you are taking from these realities but you didn't exhibit the, the khuluq and the character. There's no plagiarism allowed in which people will secretly listen and pretend it's their information and put it out. Allah will hold them responsible. So it means that the khuluq and the character at every degree is now responsible. That's why the tree teaches manners. If you're going to eat from these trees and you enjoy these fruits, give your respect, show your admiration, show that you understood that you're eating from this tree's fruits. It's not fruits that are available at every tree because you may go to a different tree and it has only like walnuts for you, just a little bit. You may go to another tree and it only has flowers and actually has nothing for you to eat from. Don't assume that every fruit you're eating and every tree you go to will be having fruits for you. 
As a result, when you find a tree like that, your life is of service to that tree. Means it's to my benefit to water this tree, to safeguard this tree, to sit under this tree, to eat from the fruits of this tree and begin to plant the seeds of this tree, right? So this Muhammadan haqqaiq that comes from this tree, this beautific fruit, if you enjoy it, plant the seed of it. You're accountable by Allah subhanahu that you saw this world is burning and you saw this tree is nourishing you, why don't you support this tree? Why do you eat somewhere else? Why do you give credit to something else? So means this khuluq and this character is everything governing from the point of a seed onto how you act under the tree. You're taking from the fruits of this tree, guard it, support it, put your life to make sure, oh this tree is the only tree on this earth for me right now. I'm taking from it my nourishment of my soul and my physicality because a spiritual tree nourishes the inside. Anything from the inside way nourishes, way far beyond our understanding nourishes the physicality. But anything that nourishes only the physicality has no door to the spirituality. Means the inside controls the outside. Anyone teaching you from the physicality has no benefit to the soul. But that which feeds you from your soul, it nourishes everything, your eternal soul for your eternal journey and blesses and nourishes the physicality. When we talk like that, people then understand, yeah you're right, if this was the only tree in my existence and in my life, my source of my entire eternal spirituality that I'm taking from it and I feel the difference of it, my life is to guard that tree, to support that tree, to be around that tree. And then more so is that this beautific fruit of this Muhammadan reality that this tree gives to me, I should be planting that seed everywhere. That's what we mean by make a profile take a video and share it. Don't just take what was good for you and then just leave. That make the world a more beautiful place. Take the barakah and the blessings of what you've been taught and now propagate that teaching. But not by your words contaminated by seeds that never reached the reality but take from the tree not from the seeds. So you take from the tree their videos, books and articles, you make your own social profile on Instagram, TikTok and all these other platforms and then keep posting, keep posting, keep posting, keep posting to come against shaitan. And then when you enter into these profiles, you see hundreds of profiles of the videos being propagated. Means there's an adab for somebody and a student that my life is to guard that tree and we guard it with our life. So it means with their life and their understanding, their life is in this. They guard that reality with their life and they've been proven their characters. Allah is looking at everything. You think Allah is looking at only your ability to sit there and listen? Oh look, He sat there and He listened. What, what's, the, what's the big deal about that? Allah is guarding on every, He's grading on every, every platform. So no, this person put his life on the line for this understanding. This person put his entire wealth upon the line of this reality. This person put his entire life's time into this reality. And then a check mark comes off that this person is sincere. It's not sincere by sitting on a couch. Sitting on the couch is one accomplishment. But what we're trying to describe in this analogy which is very clear is that if you're eating from these fruits Allah's looking to you and saying, so now what? You enjoy that tree, why don't you guard it with your life? Why don't you nourish it and protect it? 
Why don't you make sure that you safeguard it to show your respect and your love for it? And at the same time, why aren't you spreading it? Why don't you take the seed, make a platform, make a, a profile, make whatever you want. You don't want to use your own name, make a different name. Social media accounts can be in thousands, anyone can open hundreds of them. If you're a hacker, make a bot that makes 50 accounts, 100 accounts and keeps posting like crazy. Anybody can do because then Allah holds us accountable that people have to show to Allah that they believe, that they love, they support, they surround that tree. They, they, they're they nourished by that tree, they, their thankfulness before anything else in life, this fruit of reality that you eat, what is the value of that to you? Could you put a comparison onto anything that you have in your home or anything that you have of your property? Is there anything comparable to this one knowledge of a Muhammadan haqqaiq that dresses your soul for all of eternity? Imam Ali said, if one person teaches you one huruf, one letter, one ba, you owe your entire life to that individual. Because the reality of an alim who is teaching haqqaiqs and realities, what, what attachment, what reality the soul is achieving is completely unknown. And instead of that person being ashamed in the grave that they didn't know, it's the responsibility of the shaykhs that teach them, teach them that what they're being taught is of an of a immense reality towards the realities of Prophet And their khuluq and character is not that they just ate it, they ate the realities but what did they do? What did they achieve? What did they propagate? And that's why their life has to have a khidmat, not just they, they, they sit even if the shaykh is with you or not with you, it makes no difference. There's 5,000, 10,000 that are never around the shaykh and they're busy, they're active, they're propagating, they're doing whatever they can do means that this system is, is essential in the understanding of tariqah. One, the character of the seed, that they have good character, they took a life in which to submit, to be planted, they're patient and tolerant. And then the reality of the tree, that when they eat and take from that tree, do they really understand the reality of that fruit? And do they think that that fruit is available everywhere on the street? I'll just go to the next tree, I'll just go to the next tree. Say, no, not this fruit, not these teachings, you can't find them anywhere. And if you can, then you should go sit under that tree and you should do the same what's being taught. Pay your respects, live your life to service of that tree and that reality. If you're trying to get Allah's attention, you have to be active on all aspects of tariqah that you're responsible for what you're taught, you're responsible for the, the uloom and the knowledges that came to you and you're responsible for Prophet that what are you going to do with it? What have you done with it and how loyal are you to it inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amin yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations go. We film, edit and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input. And with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously upgraded and improved providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com 
is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been providing basic necessities to those most in need worldwide. There have been over 600 water wells established in rural communities across Pakistan already. We continue to support and maintain multiple orphanages, providing a safe haven for hundreds of orphans, encouraging a pleasant environment for them to flourish. There are now multiple food vans operating across many cities worldwide, with our many volunteers ensuring the needs of the most vulnerable are met. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings and go to muslimcharity.com.